Hello, James from the 11 Plus Tutors again. Um, nice to see you. Um, following on from my theme from my last video, we were talking about multiplying decimals. Um, this time I'm going to look at divide, one of the big topics that kids find tricky and it's not necessarily taught in schools is dividing a decimal by a decimal. And it's not as difficult as it sounds. So if we think about the following, if you divide 100 by 10, you get 10. If we factor that up, if you divide 1,000 by 100, you get 10 still. Factor it up both sides again. If you divide 10,000 by 1,000, you get 10. The idea about division is you get a proportionate answer, and that's really important to remember, um, because it's going to help us with this. So at the moment, we've got 3.69 divided by 0 0.3. The number on the right always goes out in the cold, outside the bus stop. So, we can see that this is going to be a problem, okay? We can't do this, so we need to do something first before we attack this. This number here needs to be a whole number, it needs to be an integer, otherwise we've got problems. So, what do we do? Well, if we go back to this, and remember that as long as we do something to both sides, we actually get the same answer because it's a proportion answer. So, if we look at this, what we would need to do to this to make it a whole number is times it by 10. Because remember, in my last video I said if you um, feed the flea zero and the, the dot does one jump, so if you multiply by 10 you get 3. But, remembering this, we need to do it to both sides to get the same answer. So, what would we end up with? We'd end up with 36.9 divided by 3. One, two, point three. Okay, and you're welcome to check some calculator. It works. So um, this is a nice trick that you can actually use in a number of different situations. Not, in fact, not just this. If you are dealing with multiply and divide, as long as you do the same to both sides proportionately, you will get the same result. I hope you've liked this really quick video today, and I hope it's um, some help. I've noticed this type of thing creeping now into 11 plus papers. It didn't used to be in there. It started to come in. So I really think this is worth knowing, and I'll be back next week for more tricks and, um, more tricks and hints. Goodbye.